All right, let's do it. Woo! So, I met you 2012, CEO space. You probably don't remember. It was a while back. I was about 40 pounds heavier, and I looked like a naked turtle. It was bad. <laughs> but you inspired me because my mentor originally introduced me to you via YouTube. Did you got to listen to this guy by the name of Les Brown? He's an orphan, just like you. He's been able to overcome so many challenges that he's had in his life. And now he's created all this success. He inspires millions around the world. And the question I have, what would you say to an orphan sitting in front of you right now that is lost, who is maybe been abused, maybe been neglected, maybe he's had difficulties in their life that they have no idea how to get over. How would you inspire that person? Well, first thing I would say that you have something special. You have greatness in you. That you were created on purpose, for a purpose, with a purpose. And we go through a variety of things in life, but ultimately, you have the power in your hands to decide this is not going to determine who I am. And I'm gonna make something of myself in spite of this. You know, we, we're taught in, in the book of life, forgetting those things which are behind, reaching forth unto those things which are before, we press toward the mark of the higher calling. But I woke up one night and there was a movie on called Magnolia. I've never seen the whole movie, but there was a line that I heard was starring Tom Cruise and I couldn't go back to sleep. And the line was, we might be through with our past, but our past is not through with us. But there are things that we experience, particularly between age zero and seven. The Jesuit would say, give me a baby and I'll give you a man at seven. But there are things that we experience that help to create and formulate the image that we have of ourselves and that we have to engage in an ongoing process to discover who are we really? Who are we? You can't hear me? Oh, we can hear you, Les. Oh, you can hear me. Oh, I thought you waved at me saying, indicating that you could not hear me. Oh, I was just waving because I'm just weird like that. Yes, yes, you're devilish, absolutely. 